the decade following the Civil War, people of all creeds and colors were part of the West. The following is a story about two of those people. Morning. Howdy. Just let them blow for a while. You fellow strangers around here? I rode through about three years back. I seem to remember a town up ahead. Yeah, Lansford. About an hour's ride. I was just coming from there myself. You want something, mister? Or you just looking? <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> Didn't mean nothing. Good luck to you fellas. How many times you figure that fella's seen a black man sit a fine horse? I don't care what he's seen. I ain't no sideshow. Yeah, in a way. This ain't plantation country, you know. I'm gonna ride. You coming? I wasn't thinking on settling down here. Whoa there. You sure you don't recognize him? I've never been here before. You have. Well, he's no ordinary bushwhacker. Bushwhacker doesn't come up and introduce himself before he starts shooting at you. Give me a hand. What you doing? I want to take him back to that town. I don't want him found dead on our back trail. That the black boy who's come on. What's this? He said he was from here. Joe Hagen, he's a mining engineer. He's dead. What happened to him? He tried to bushwhack us on the trail in. Why would he do a thing like that? I don't know, Sheriff. We were kind of hoping you'd know. What's your name? Earl Corey. And yours? David. Jamal David. Leave him here. Come inside. Get those hands high now, slow and easy. Well, what's this all about? Jesse. Yes, sir. Get their guns. Yes, sir. Sheriff, you're making some kind of mistake. I saw myself the way you came in wide open. But not after you had the brass to give me your right name. I can only figure you thought we was too far out of the way to know about you. Know what?
you figure it'll take us to save a thousand dollars cow punching? Save? Takes us better than a year to make that much. Well, sitting right in there, ain't it? Look, now maybe something happened up there, and you called it self-defense, but they call it murder. I never been in the Dakotas. Never. Are you trying to tell me that they just make up posters like that for fun? I'm saying I don't know. Look where I am because of you. That man on the trail tried to kill me just for being with you, and I don't blame him. Anybody would. That poster must be all over the West. Least you could have done is warned me. I told you I didn't know. Is that what you're on about? Or the fact that you was riding around with a thousand dollars on a hook and didn't have sense enough to, to collect it, you... <laughs> You get me out of here, Sheriff. There's no post on me. You're with him for one thing. For another, you helped kill a man this morning. A man who tried to capture a fugitive from justice. I telegraphed that town where you wanted. Just got an answer saying they pay on delivery, so first thing tomorrow morning, you and me is gonna take ourselves a ride north. What about me? Huh. We could hang you right here, as soon as I get back. The man up north see why I was wanted? You saying you forgot? Oh, that reward so big in your eyes, you don't care what I say. Why am I wanted? You strangled a white woman, boy. You couldn't forget that. But you did it so many times, you forgot which one. When was all this supposed to happen? A month ago. But that can't be. We've been together for more than a month. That's right. Well. That be the case, it'll give me a great deal of pleasure to hang you. We were in Kansas hunting bounty. Now, lots of people saw us down there. Go check. Let the sheriff who wants him check. He's the one they're paying on, and he's the one I'm going to deliver. As soon as you get there, they'll know you're not the one. Even if I do make it that far, they're just gonna bring me back to hang alongside you. Guess I'll have to make some play along the trail tomorrow. <laughs> That's just what they'll be waiting for. That poster says dead or alive. Dead's easier. Now don't you know that bounty hunter? Just the same as you. What's my choice? It's a lot better than mine. Even if you do get away, I'm stuck here. I'll be back. Why? Because the only thing you've been right about all day is that you're here because of me. I owe you that. You see anybody? It's too dark. What did it say? Your horses are out and back. A friend. Hey, slow down there. When we have time to make friends in this town. The only thing friendly about us is that price on your head. Now, he'll be hiding out back waiting for us. <laughs> waiting for me, boss. You ain't worth nothing. Thank you, boy. Look, we got to handle this sheriff anyway. Why don't we go out the front? Well, we need the horses. Ours are probably standing out back for beat. All right, I'll go out the back alone. I'll go around the front. I'll come up behind them when they make their play. Are you ready? Hey, hey Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff! 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 Hey! hey. What? What? Oh, what? Sheriff's going home. I'm in charge here. You get quiet. We don't want no trouble. Just want to ask you something. Oh. What you want? We want your hands high, Sonny. Up. Oh. Turn around. What you gonna do? Get the keys. Yes, sir. Keep in sight, you hear? Yes. Go on, get him. Hurry up. Put the key, sir. Open it. Yes, sir. I ain't got nothing to do with you guys being here. 
Heinberg, deputy. Get over and open the other. Yes. Heinberg, the deputy. I just, I just sweep up here. I just sweep up. I just bump up. No, don't. I don't want to hear a sound out of you until we're too far away to hear any sound. You understand? with two fingers and let them drop. Turn around. Where's your friend? Behind you, I hope. Don't fall for that. the whole night? I'm all right. If you're that afraid of me, why didn't you just ride out of here? You know where I'm going. I'd just soon have you in front of me, boss. You don't have me anywhere I don't want to be, boy. You just remember that. Except maybe cold, stiff, and hungry. We got about two days' ride ahead of us before we get there. I don't fancy arriving on an empty stomach. We can hunt along the trail. Hunt what? Buzzard and coyotes? Can't hunt coffee. Must be a town around here someplace. Every town around here will have that poster me nailed up all over the place. It's a poster of you, not me. I'll go in alone. Yeah, Hart, I know you're going to come back alone. Is that the way it was? What? Before you were a bounty hunter? When you're just another black man on the run. Never mind all that. There's nobody chasing you as hard as you're chasing yourself. I said let it be. Well, I will if you will. about Hale's Landing, about the sheriff there and all. He says he's traveling alone. Why does a man alone take cooked food on the trail? Hale's Landing is where they're paying a thousand dollars for this, uh, this black fella, ain't it? Yeah. Where is he? What do you want? 
Oh, we just want to help, mister. Where you got him? We know you got him out of here alive. Else you wouldn't be bringing that grub. A man like that, facing a rope, he's dangerous. Because he's got nothing to lose. Should be worth some of that reward to you for our help. I don't know what you're talking about. Drop the gun belt. He's off you in your partnership, friend. Now it's just a straight deal. Your own skin for that. Start walking. You ain't bringing them in. You're riding with them. You heard what the man said. Walk. You saw them trailing me. How come you didn't stop them before they started to knock me around like that? I didn't know if they was trailing you or that's just the way you wanted it to look. Are you serious? They could have killed me. Like I told you before, it's my business, not yours. I thought we settled that. If we don't clear you, I got a killing to answer for. You know, you were right back there. About what? About my feeling and acting like it was when I run off from the plantation. You know, they hugged me like an animal till I felt like an animal. You know what I mean, boss? I know what you mean, boy. Ready to leave. We ought to be too. I was about two hours' ride from here to Hale's Landing. One place I don't want to get to in the middle of the night. What you thinking? Well, the people at that station must do business in town. They probably know who does what there. I didn't need know I was wanted. Not necessarily. We could pretend that you're my prisoner. Maybe you better let me have your gun. <laughs> don't wait on it. Oh, this ain't no hotel. You keep shut. You got the money to pay? We was fixing to pay, yeah. Well, it'll be two dollars each. That includes supper. Well, it must be awful fancy vittles in bed for that kind of money. Well, then, if you don't like it, you just ride out and find better. My wife will tend to your horses. Now, I'm warning you, Mose. They're probably hired guns riding to join up with Tanner. That right? You riding with Hob Tanner? No, never heard of him. There, you see? I don't like it. Now look, you tend to their horses and stop fussing or I'll whale you. 
part you boys will pay in advance. Boy, and you, you sleep in the hay shed. Now, wait a minute. We don't pay top dollar for second class fixings. Hey, hay shed will do for me. You can wash up over there. Who is this man, Tan? Fast gun killer. He's the man I collect my first bounty on. I thought he was dead. Tanner. Could be a coincidence. Think so? Do you? No. Still, Mrs. Skinner. Mm hmm. You know, time was when the stage came by here every second day. Now it only comes by twice a week. One's going, one's coming. Well, there's so many guns in town. Why doesn't the marshal just come through and clean them out? Well, the territory is too spread out. The marshal can't get by more than once a month. And then they clear out. Townspeople are afraid to say anything. They know that Tanner and his gang will be back once the marshal goes. I think I'll recollect hearing something about this Tanner. That he was supposed to hang for killing the railroad paymaster. Maybe. If he was, he broke out. He's made this town safe for every gun that's running from trouble. Make you sorry, too. Here's the way you've been talking. Who asked you? The way he made this town is the reason why this stage line is going under, and that's what makes me sorry. We don't get paid, you don't eat for a while, and you'll be sorry, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not finished yet. I want to clean up. I don't care what you want to clean up. I said I'm not finishing. Why don't you get yourself cleaned up? Wouldn't hurt a bit. Now, if you had to tend horses and clean stalls and everything else around here, you wouldn't smell so sweet either. You gonna keep sassing me? And it, what do these flowers do at the table? You trying to do something fancy? You are what you are. You want me to start in on what you are and what you are not? Your wife's, um... You fine cook? Yeah, I'll say that much for him. You'd think a woman would appreciate the clothes you put on her back and the food you put in her mouth. Well, that's what you get when you buy a pig and a poke. Buy it? Well, the same as uh, I brought her from back east. She was mail order, you know? With so many gunslingers in town, uh... I guess his Tanner has a lot of arguments, huh? Yes, and he doesn't lose any because he's always got three or four of the best guns around him. You guys don't have any business with Tanner. What do you want to know all about him for? Well, they're just making talk. You should see the size of the room they got me in. Not much bigger than I am. <laughs> yeah, well, that old man don't give up nothing unless he have to. What about you and Tanner? Like I say, he was my first catch. He still had some of that railroad money hid somewhere. Offered me double the reward if I turned him loose. And why didn't you? The way he was, mostly. Nice talking to me, man to man. Making out like he didn't think he was any better than I was. Well, I knew he did. How'd you know? You have to be black in this world to know. I'd just soon take your word for it. He showed himself soon enough when I said no deal. Called me everything but a child of God till I busted him. And then I traded his horse in for a jackass and tied him to it. That's the way I bought him in. Hog tied to a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he figures that thousands pretty cheap to pay you back for that. <laughs> You've been thinking about that money, ain't you? 
What I'm thinking about is Tanner sitting on top of that town, surrounded by hard guns. <sighs> right and cold, and that is just plain suicide. Got no other choice I can see. No, you don't. But I do. I'm gonna ride in there alone. See how the thing lays in there. Make some kind of a plan. You wait here until I get back. What's the matter? You're not thinking. Are you still thinking I'm gonna turn you into Tanner? Look. I'm not riding into that town next to a black target like you. Suit yourself. One way or another, I got to face up the Tanner. Might as well get to it. Well, then you get to it by yourself. thinking about instead well, at least that's living what you're talking about is dying all she wants is someone to take away from that old man and i sure don't blame her yeah well you better get some rest where well, you got things worked out tomorrow's gonna be your last day you don't want to spend it tired Just a little fresh air, man. About the same as you, I expect. Will your husband be joining us? He's doing his books. That's all he does every night. Counts his money. Well, money's important, of course. Still a man ought to stop once in a while and appreciate a uh, good-looking woman and a fine dress. Wow, sure is a beautiful night, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hey, I was wondering, would you be willing to accompany me on a chore? That depends. Oh, I sure would consider it a powerful honor if you would, ma'am. See, I have uh, this harness on my saddle. It needs fixing. I need some leather loops. Uh, you happen to know where I could find some leather loops? We might look in the uh, harness shed. That sounds like a real fine place for mending harness.
Jacob, where is he? What's the matter? That white man friend of yours, where is he? He ain't used his room. He's gone. Now, he said... He said last night I was going with you. He promised. I don't know nothing about that. Now, he promised. Let's go. Boy, how come you're still here? They took my horse. Well, you rode in with him. I didn't. I have to go after him. I need a horse. Well, I need him, too. Now, you go after him the best way you can. I'll bring your horse back. That's so you say. It's a good thing I made you guys pay in advance. Now, go on. Go on, get out of here. I'm going to take a horse, you know. You do, and I'll see you hung. You ain't going nowhere, black boy. Just chase him. We don't want him here. Yeah, we do. This fell out of his pocket. Wanted, dead or alive. Woman, if he just makes one little fuss, you blow him right in half. Mister? No, I'd say I won. <laughs> That's right. That's pretty good. Where are you coming from? Place I didn't want to be. Mr. Tanner! Hey, Mr. Tanner! Come looky! I got him! <laughs> Back and black and in my pocket. Come on and see. Yes, sir. Mr. Tanner, you in there? Any of you boys seen Tanner? The dogs is see what's going on out there. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tanner! Who are you? What do you want? Tell Mr. Tanner it's Ted Hewitt. <laughs> I got his black boy for him. Get your hands off the goods till they're paid for. Mr. Tanner, here he is. Where'd you find him? Skin him buffalo with some Indians. Uh, I think he was living with them. When do I get my money? When do I get those uh, spamuzalas? Stop blowing. That ain't him. What do you mean? It don't even look like the picture I had made of him. Sure it does. I got the picture right here. Look, without the hat, it looks just now like Now, shut it. up. I rode him clear down from the Canadian border. Just sit yourself down over here. Tanner's no law man. You just helping him kill me. I'm not gonna kill nobody unless it's right here. And you give me cause to. It's not just me. My friend's in that town. And he don't know she's coming. She'll tell Tanner about him, and Tanner will kill him, too. You think I care? You know, it wouldn't surprise me if your friend wouldn't be riding right back here with Tanner now. A oh, white man doesn't ride with it, unless there's something to it. I didn't catch on until I saw that poster. And what about your friend? Your woman? What about her? You don't think she stays around here with you because you're good-looking, do you? Never thought that. Of course, you treat her so good then, with your curses and beating her with that cane all the time. Now you can shut up about that. Why? She's gonna get me killed anyway. What's the difference? The difference is I don't want to hear it. 
She stays because she can't do any better, and that reason's good enough for me. Well, she might do herself better today. She don't have to come back here with Tanner. She can send him, collect a reward when he gets back, and then maybe ride off with my friend. I'll get the reward because I got you. It depends on how she tells it to Tanner, don't it? He gets me because she told him. She can tell it so he's beholden to her, not you. Oh, no, that ain't so. She's my wife. Anything belongs to her belongs to me. It's mine anyway. Only when she's here, Skidder. And what you going to do when she takes that money and gets on the stage heading north, south, east, or west of here? Yeah, but who says she's going to do that? Well, all she wants is a chance to get away from you, and you don't give it to her. That ain't so. You, you know that ain't so. One thousand dollars, Skinner. That's a lot of money. She can buy all the clothes she can want and a decent place to live. All right, that's enough. That is enough. Do you understand? I think we both understand. Where are you going? We're going to saddle a horse and ride into town. Well, you're going to ride in dead, bucko, because that reward reads two ways, dead or alive. Don't you forget it. I don't. Just like you don't want to forget that killing me would be just like killing yourself. A little slow, maybe, but just the same. Without your woman, you got nothing. You got nowhere to go but a quick grave. Hold it, boy! I'm warning you. I'm going anyway. It's no difference to me. Dead now or when Tanner gets here. The difference is for you. If you want to take it. Wait up, boy! Hold oh, right there. Now, you, you look, you listen to me. If I don't kill you, you'll get it if you ride into that town anyhow. Oh, fine, sure. You go right ahead. You just mount up and ride out. I'm not going to try to stop you. You go south or west. Just get out of the territory. I'm telling you, boy, you ride into that town and Tanner will get you. And maybe my woman will find some way to take credit for it anyway. Go on, boy. Go on and save your own skin. Leave my affairs as they was. That's the right way, and that's the smart way. That man I rode in with, like I said before, your woman will point him out to Tanner. Tanner will kill him. That's his lookout. He rode out of here without leaving you even a word. He left you empty. Not even a horse to make a run for it if you had to. No. I think he was trying to help me. Trying to help me in a way I couldn't trust. Oh, my boy, don't, look, don't be dumb. Boy, you're gonna get the both if you killed us all. You hear me, boy? What should I do? No talk, huh? Morning, mister. My name's Dobbs. That's all right with me. What's yours? What's the difference? The difference is I asked. I heard you just come into town. Is there some kind of law against that? <laughs> it could be if you're planning to spend the night. Come over here, cowboy. Why? Someone after you, cowboy? I'm no cowboy, and what do you care about me? Because if someone's after you, we want to know who and why. And that way we can handle him before he gets you. Why should you want to do that? Because if you're going to stay here, that's what you're going to pay us to do. Well, I did hear that this was a town a man could come and not be bothered. Well, now you heard right. 
Assuming, of course, you got quite a bit of money. That kind of comfort takes money. How much? Five dollars a day. Twenty-five dollars extra if we have to discourage some lawman who wants you. It's a lot of money. I got a lot of miles to feed, cowboy. It's the first two days in advance, huh? Fine, fine. Now you can relax. You can sleep all day if you want to. We got girls and gambling after supper in this place. Now you got nothing to worry about. Unless I can't come up with the five dollars. That's right. <laughs> See? Now you talk nice to a fella. He learns real fast. Inside. That fellow with the red shirt, where'd he go? Barber shop. Someone was after you. But you didn't say it was me. Now, here's your $10 back. Pick it up. Help him pick it up, Dobby. Just the two of them now. Get them out of there. trying to prove how long you think we can stay against all of them you hear me Tanner? i want you bad as you want me i don't want him dead until he looks in my face you understand i want to see him die Tanner! now you ain't got nothing against this white man with me just like i ain't got nothing against them boys back in you why don't we just leave him be and you and me we just settle it alone Are you crazy? Even if he says yes, he's sure to have somebody back shooting you. That's for you to see, too. Unless you expect to take the rest of the day off. What you say, Tanner? We both step off when my friend calls out a three count. 
Then we step out, just you and me. Face off and throw down and settle it. I never seen a black man could handle a gun worth a mention. Well, the fact is he's been hunting bounty, not picking cotton. What you say, big man? You ain't afraid of one little old black boy, are you? You tell your friend to start counting. <laughs> If you do get a shot off, don't stand in one place any longer than you have to. I wouldn't have told him if you hadn't lied to me last night. If you knew about that reward, you would have been here last night. Tanner, I'm gonna start counting. One. from your side and you're a dead man. The rest of you, listen. Tanner's left standing, it's up to him to pay the reward. But if he falls, there's nobody to pay anything. That black man won't be worth a bullet it takes to kill him. All right, you two. You can throw down any time you want now. You can get the horses. We're gonna leave now. thinking about that. I guess the word will get around, though. I hope so. I sure don't like much being a target. I left your horse in town. How much obliged? You staying for the night? The way things turned out, we can't afford it. I didn't mean it like that. Well, in that case, we're much obliged. But I don't think so. We got our business to look after. And I guess you got yours. Guess you ain't too happy about the way it all turned out. Well, should I be? I've been locked up, beat up, shot at, and all I got to show for it is you instead of $1,000. Ain't that a shame. <laughs> 